Hello and welcome to New Dash Architecture. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to change your font style in Autodesk Revit. Now, currently, you see I have a font style here for the room annotations, and they're not really clear. I don't really like them. So, in order for me to go and change the font style for this particular annotation, you just have to go ahead and select it. And when you go ahead to do this, you notice that you have a room type in the properties panel. And then you go ahead and say edit type for that room type. You won't really see it. you won't really see the option that tells you to change the font style here. So that's the way that it is. What we have to do is edit the room tags family itself. So in order to do that, you're going to go ahead and select this. Select the fonts that you want to change. And okay, it's already selected. So right click once you select and then go over to edit family. Revit is going to take you to a different workspace where it shows you the family and all the items that are in it. So you can go ahead and select one of the items like the room name for example and then head about to edit type. Once you go to edit type you can see the font and color and text size and everything. So here the current font that I have is Bebas. It's a good font but not for Revit. So I'm going to go ahead and change this. So I'll look for something else. You can scroll down to any other font that is inside your computer. I'll be using this Lato black font for now. I'm also going to change the font from blue. I think it's really shouting. I'll use a black font like normal and then click OK. The text size is currently set to 1.25. I'm going to increase that to 2.50. And then tab size, I think I'm OK with the tab size being 5.0. So I just need to go ahead and click Apply and then click OK. So this is the new font style that we have now. The next thing you want to do is load this into your project and close. Now you're going to get a notification that says you want to save changes. I'm going to click no for this option because I don't want to overwrite the original Revit font that is there. So I'm just going to click no. It's not going to stop the file from changing. When I'm here, I can go ahead and say, all right, the existing one for the current project. So I'm just going to click that and Revit is going to show you the new font and you can see it inside your building now. So there you have it. I think it works the same way for dimensions as well. I actually added this dimension so you can try it and see. So we can just go to edit type and then scroll through dimensions if it's possible to change it here. Okay, dimensions actually allows you to change it. So that's good. But this is the Trevor J MS font. I'm just going to cancel this for now and then see if we can change it to any other one so all of them are triple j ms so we can go over to edit type i'm going to duplicate this font and call it lato black because that's the font i want to use next so this is going to create a new item for us or a new font style that we can use without editing without editing the original one so i can just go down i think i like the way the dimensions are so i just want to change the font style itself to the lato black so just have to scroll up and find the lato black and click apply and click ok so it changes just that one dimension now for us to change all the dimensions i want without having to do it individually for each and every one of them so what you can do is to look for the linear style that we just finished creating we've done a we've created the lato black now so you can just select this dimension right click and then select all instances then the entire project it's going to select all the dimensions that are here and then we can change the style to the metal black style that we created and there we go so we, we have the style that we're looking for so one more thing so that is how you can go about changing your font style if you feel this is too big you can reduce it or type in any other text size that you want in order to change the text size and you can select this and just repeat the same process edit the family is going to take you in there and then you can select one item edit the type and then change the font size will be from 2.0 to 1.75 and then click apply click ok load it into the project don't accept this option overwrite write this one and then you're done so that's how you go about doing it if you found this video useful, do let me know in the comment section. And if you have any other additional questions about Autodesk Revit, do let me know in the comment section as well. I'll try to answer those questions in a different video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.